Don't fall Stoltenberg. My pronunciation has just been legalized by the man himself. His personal history is most impressive indeed. He has served his country, Norway, as defense minister, even and even twice as Minister of Foreign Affairs. And I just learned, about less than an hour ago, that for, for some time he has acted, he has been and functioned as acting Prime Minister. Aha. Uh -huh. Thus paving the way for his son so many years later. Um, Mr. Torvald uh, Stoltenberg represented Norway for a long while with the United Nations and later on performed various prestigious functions within the UN system, such as what we just saw here, UN High Commissioner for the Refugees. His son Jens is the present day Prime Minister of Norway. Strictly speaking, strictly speaking, this reference to Stoltenberg Jr. goes beyond the bounds of this speech. But we do not want to miss the opportunity to express our respect for and solidarity with the Norwegian people and their current Prime Minister. In 2009, Mr. Stoltenberg Sr. burdened himself with the task to chair an advisory commission on reforming Norway's drug policy. The conclusions of that commission's report make me jealous. No, not the conclusion, the reaction to the conclusions, of course. The reaction to the conclusion makes me jealous. The conclusions of that report uh, brought about, and that's what makes me jealous, brought about a landslide in the discussions on drugs in that country. Hey, there is the example. Holland, follow. You won't always be number one in the world. Follow Norway. Two years later, two years after his, uh, his uh, report on Norway's drug policy, Torvald Stoltenberg joined the Global Commission on Drug Policy, together with former Foreign Secretary of State George Schultz, former Secretary of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan former uh, presidents of uh, Mexico, Brazil, and Colombia, Cedillo Cardoso Gaviria, as well as the British entrepreneur Richard Branson. The Global Commission presented this report in New York within a very short period of time his main recommendations are, yes indeed, revolutionary, spectacular, groundbreaking, and groundbreaking not only for us gathered here, uh, for, for all around us, at least it should be, and certainly encouraging for all those congenial spirits out of this room. And there are so many who are not sufficiently listened to. Uh, too, too big, too large is, is the mass of people that keep walking in darkness. Global Commission preached stop criminalizing, refrain from 
marginalizing and stigmatizing people who consume drugs without doing harm to anyone. From the governments and parliaments to adopt laws on drugs, primarily on cannabis, that aim at suppressing organized crime and at safeguarding citizens' health and safety. Dear Norwegian friend, we highly value your unflinching effort in the media, also beyond Norway. Efforts to wake up politicians to the need for elevating existing legislation to the level of rationality and particularly to the level of finally legalizing cannabis. The Harsh Marijuana and Hemp Museum feels honored and I feel honored as their servant by your visit to Amsterdam for the occasion and your readiness to receive on behalf of the Global Commission the Cannabis Culture Award 2012. Please, uh, if you want to sit down or you want to stand up. No, this is 